हेलो हाय एवरीवन टुडे विल चेक साइल्स वीडियो टीवीएस सप्लाई चेन स्टॉक बॉटम डाउट और मोर पेन हेड लेट्स शो टू यू हे एवरीवन अ फ्यू मंथ्स अगो आई डिड अ डिटेल्ड वीडियो ऑन अपॉर्चुनिटी इन लॉजिस्टिक सेक्टर ऑफ इंडिया वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट ग्रोथ ड्राइवर फॉर द लॉजिस्टिक सेक्टर इज ग्लोबल एमएनसीज ट्राइंग टू रिड्यूस डिपेंडेंसी ऑन चाइना एंड क्रिएट अल्टरनेट सप्लाई चेन्स एंड दैट्स वेयर इंडिया हैज द गोल्डन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू इंक्रीज इट्स कंट्रीब्यूशन इन ग्लोबल मैन्युफैक्चरिंग Hence, Indian government is focused on building the backbone of our country by focusing on logistic network that include road, rail, airway, and shipping. In addition to government focus, there is another growth driver for logistic sector: its exponential rise of e-commerce industry. That's where I discussed about key reforms by Indian government, including PM Gati Shakti worth your hundred lakh crore rupees, national logistic policy, and launch of GST and e-way bill. all these reforms are expected to boost the logistic sector of india then i did another video on top stocks in indian logistic sector that included container corporation of india ages logistics gateway industry park all cargo logistics we are a logistics mahindra tci express gati snowman logistics delivery and tv supply chain in the subsequent video i covered the fundamental analysis of tv supply chain that recently had its ipo in uh, august 23 at rupees 197 Then it touched highs of 258. However, it has corrected 37% from the peak and currently trading at around 154. When I covered it, it was at levels of 214. So share is still down 28% from those levels. The question is why TV supply chain share price has been falling. Next follow-up question is what to do with it? Buy it, hold it, or sell it? Then another common concern is that TV supply chain has consistently reported loss at PAT level. So here it's very important to understand the financial situation of the company. And in this video, I'll try to answer these questions. But before we begin, just a disclaimer that this video is only for educational purpose. If you invest simply based on this video, then it won't help. In the stock market, conviction is the biggest factor, and that comes only when you do your research before investing your money. All right, let's get started. So the simple reason for correction in TV supply chain share price is due to weaker quarterly results. If you look at its latest Q3 figure, company sales fell down by 6.4 percent year on year from 2,373 crore. to 2222 crore and its adjusted ebitda was up by 3% year on year but down 1.2% quarter on quarter adjusted ebitda is the ebitda adjusted for employee stock option cost and loss in foreign exchange which is not operational in nature now to understand the reason for degrowth you need to understand tv supply chain business which is divided into two key vertical integrated supply chain solution that is iscs and network solution Integrated supply chain segment includes sourcing and procurement, integrated transportation, logistic operation centers, in-plant logistic operation, finished goods, aftermarket fulfillment, and supply chain consulting. Network solution segment includes global forwarding solution that involve ma- managing end-to-end freight forwarding and distribution across ocean, air, and land, then warehousing and at port storage and value-added service. It also includes time-critical final mile solution that involves. Closed loop logistics and support, including spare part logistics, break fix, refurbishment, and engineering support, and courier and consignment management. So, if you look at revenue growth of these two verticals, ISCS vertical revenue has grown 14.7 percent year on year. However, network solution revenue is down 25 percent year on year. So, the key reason for underperformance in Q3 is due to its network solution vertical that is struggling at the moment due to decline in freight rates. So freight rates have fallen 28% year on year and has impacted TV supply chain growth on year on year basis but it has increased 5% on quarter on quarter basis so hopefully the freight rates would now stabilize and second reason is geopolitical challenges in the red sea that slightly dented ocean freight volume in december 23 month and that impacted tv supply chain q3 performance now before taking a call on buy sell hold you need to ask three important question First is how are the fundamentals of the company second how is the growth prospect in the medium to long term and third is how is the valuation as of today so fundamentally there is no doubt that tv supply chain is a very strong company it has a leadership in india in the b2b supply chain with 72 out of fortune 500 client kami has made significant investment in technology which is the core of its supply chain solution and a key differentiator and then tv supply chain is part of very reputed tvs group Kami has a very strong board of director and a solid leadership team. So promoter pedigree and leadership of the company is top notch which for me is the biggest moat of the company and the most important factor I look for while checking the fundamentals. 
As far as feature growth is concerned, TDS Supply Chain is a global logistic solution provider with nearly 70% business coming from outside India and a significant 30% business is from India. Now, global MNCs are trying to reduce dependence from China and creating alternate supply chain. On top of that, Indian government is focusing a lot on manufacturing sector along with multiple reforms in logistics space. So all these factors should drive the growth of TVA supply chain. Company has set a target to achieve $2.5 billion revenue by FR27 and 100 million profits. In Indian rupee, it's nearly 20,000 crore revenue target by FR27 and nearly 800 crore of profit target. In FR23, company did uh, sale of 10,000 crore. So TV supply chain intend to double its revenue next four years. And its profit level, it's only 42 crore in FR23 and targeting 800 crore of profit. On EBITDA margin, company is at 7.8% currently and targeting 9.5 to 10% EBITDA in the long term. And if you look at valuation, today it commands a market cap of around 6,800 crore with price to sale of 0.74. So company did trailing 12 month sale of around 9,150 crore and its market cap today is just 6,800 crore translating to price to sale of 0.74. Then EV to EBITDA is 10.8, which is again very attractive. So if I quickly summarize, TVS supply chain is fundamentally super strong. Long-term growth prospects are looking very, very promising. And companies currently looking very attractive in terms of valuation. That itself answers what you should do as an investor. First of all, there is no need to panic with such correction. So if you have invested with a long-term mindset, you should have a strong conviction. So selling should not be a question here, especially at such attractive valuation. But again, it's my personal opinion, you need to take a call based on your study. Between buy and hold, I think the current correction has created an opportunity to invest in the company. And if you have already invested, then you can either take a call on hold or accumulate based on your exposure in the company. And of course, you need to track the quarter on quarter performance and then take a call on whether you want to increase allocation or reduce allocation or just hold it. Finally, I want to touch base upon the net profit of the company that are looking very low at the moment. In fact, it was consistently in loss over the years and that's what confuses a lot of retail investor. So first of all, you need to look at the EBITDA which is operating profit. It has been consistently generating high operating profit. The culprit here is interest and depreciation that has resulted in very low net profit. So first of all, on debt side, TV supply chain has significantly reduced its debt. This slide gives a clear picture. Before IPO, company had 1,783 crore of gross borrowing. From the IPO proceed, company utilized 524 crore to repay the debt and another 115 crore for internal accrual. So as of December 23, company has a debt of 744 crore where their term loan is now zero and remaining is only working capital loan. On screen, it is showing debt of 2,200 crore, which is not the right picture. So going forward, the interest component would fall significantly from around 200 crore to less than 100 crore and would directly result in increase in net profit. Second on depreciation, this question was asked on the con call on why depreciation is 500 odd crore per year. On that, management clarified depreciation number into two parts. One is depreciation on property, plant and equipment which is around 120 crore and amortization of intangible asset would be another 30 to 40 crore. The balanced depreciation is basically leases which are capitalized on the balance sheet. In short, as the company's revenue would grow, leverage from existing depreciation would kick in and it would be much lower in the coming years. So that would again increase the net profit. Finally, I just want to highlight the cash flow of the company. Company is extremely cash rich and consistently generating 600 to 700 crore worth of cash from operation. So don't just look at net profit and confuse yourself. TVA supply chain is generating huge cash and has got a very strong balance sheet with nearly 1000 crore worth of cash and cash equivalent. Eventually, when revenue would increase and interest rate and depreciation would fall, it would increase the net profit. I hope you got a fair idea on why TVA supply chain share price has corrected and what can you expect from the company in the medium to long term. I don't want to stress this video further. If you find it useful, do share it with